much more interested in, in abstract painting and in, in work that is, um, you know, more about in interpretation and, and, and kind of letting folks decide for themselves in a way, you know, what the content might be. Um, so it isn't, um, it's not written clear, if you like, of what it is. It's very, I think it's very influenced by architecture and by the surroundings because I think that's what generates, you know, the interest. But the format and the way it's done, it, it changes, it changes all the time. I don't necessarily have a particular starting point. I change it, you know, while it's working, I change it all the time. And, and in a way there's layers of paint going on and, and then, you know, alterations and history and, you know, different things happening. And, and I think that's probably just by walking about and seeing things that I'll perhaps come back in here and then I'll move, you know, somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But I think there's always a structure to the work. There's always a kind of grid or a kind of placing of things where, you know, um, an organisation perhaps, isn't it? So because I think that's why I'm, I, I'm interested in this architectural uh, structure and, and so things tend to have, have a kind of organisation, that's what I'd say. Um, but I, at the same time I try and introduce things that trip me up a bit. I don't want to be too safe about it. I want to try and surprise myself. So I try and, you know, put things in that are not necessarily familiar, but somehow just kind of make you think, yes, what do you, you know, let's try it, try things. Experiment, isn't it? Um, and sometimes, th these are the biggest pieces I've been working on. And they're not complete, but I'm, you know, this is for me. It's been a, quite a long time to get onto a big format. I've worked on paper mainly, but then I've started to kind of introduce a few, you know, this canvas and, and so on. So um, it's been a slow process because with teaching for a long time, you're giving out to students. Whereas when you can't come back into a studio, then you have to kind of start. Well, you know, what is it that you want to say, and what do you want to do? So it's, it's quite, um, a, you know, that's quite a different circumstance, isn't it? And, um, but, you know, we, we, in a way, the, because we're two here living here and, and we generate, you know, different works, therefore we can kind of have an effect on each other. Um, it, we had two exhibitions, actually. One, I had one in Paris and Linda, and Linda and I had one in, in the south of France. So, we've, you know, we have actually kind of gone out of here with some work and shown it. And, and been kind of part of a, you know, a kind of group show. So, you know, all the time we're, we're trying to be, if you like, not just hide away here, we're trying to, you know, get it out into the uh, open and, and into the public eye. I just tend to, you know, put some colour down and then I, I, I work on them as they go and introduce things. And then from here, maybe they affect what I do up there. I'm a great leader in drawing um, and Having taught in an adult centre, I was always having to get involved with technique as well. Um, although I think it should be quite experimental, like watercolour, it's that's messy, you know, it, it looks messy for somebody who would like to do a really exacting watercolour, but I think it's about just sort of recording what, what's there sometimes. Um, these are just doodles that have been done. Um, while well, still on holidays and things, and like Peter said, you know, they get carried through into um, perhaps further work, so it's, uh, sketchbooks are very important because you can find out ways of putting materials, you know, using materials and, and, and painting and just drawing and, and, you know, looking at the space in things and so on. So working out compositions. So this is really just about all that sort of preparation that goes into your thinking and I think that's probably about it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so that's one of the sketchbooks anyway. And um, it involves a certain amount of collage like I was saying upstairs. That one isn't. I think that's more about the painting technique. So although I get a figurative basis, it um, becomes very much the process of painting that would take over. So with that, you know, it, I find it quite exciting that you get a mark just coming across that's been used when I've read paint on to paper and then torn it up 
and then gone over it again, you know, and you can use pencils, crayons, wax pastels, anything on top. And the sharp edges you can get and the fuzzy edges you can get.